Hi there everyone, I'm Lori Barranco and it's time for my weekly predictions for the week of February 11th, 2018. And the deck that I use is the Guild of Royal Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. And I also, of course, blend my intuition, and my intuitive messages that are coming through as I select the cards. So let's see what type of energetic influences we have for this week as I select the three cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give the, the deck a little bit of a shuffle, and then I'm gonna pull three from the top. All right, let's see, here we go. First card, second card, third card. All righty. The first card we have is the full reversed. Then we have the Queen of Wands, and then we have the Five of Cups. Okay, so here we go. The Full Reversed, Queen of Wands, and then the Five of Cups. So right off the bat, the message from Spirit is to really take your time and think before you react and not act foolishly. That's our Full Reversed. Because what you may be doing is allowing your triggers, your uh, challenge areas to come forward and where you are emotionally out of balance coming forward where you're challenged and something happens and right away we might go into that reaction instead of being proactive so spirit is really encouraging us to hold on there partner don't react right away give it time allow things to process through and give yourself time to kind of tap into your own intuition and then make that wise decision. That Queen of Wands is very intuitive. She is very connected with her higher self and, and she knows to reset her energy. And um, she's she says that this week that there's an opportunity for healing, some things that really have really um, affected our heart on a deep level, some maybe emotional wounding a heartache or heartbreak and what she's saying is that we can learn from these situations and we can move on and unfortunately in some situations there may not be the closure or the understanding yet we must pick up and continue to move forward which is our five of cups she says honor your feelings but keep moving forward rather than try to figure out what's happening like with that uh full reversed that full that reverse full may do something impulsively and may cause even more damage for themselves or for the other parties by trying to keep opening up that wound and continuing to investigate and dissect so the advice for this week is to take your time with your triggers and the things that pop up and sometimes to just kind of really embrace it. Sometimes we don't have that closure and that understanding. What's necessary is that we don't keep ourselves there and we continue to move forward. All right, everyone. I'm Lori Baracco. I will see you next week. Namaste.